One of the biggest challenges facing Virginia's economy today is the need for jobs. But not just jobs for all those people who lost them during the recession. We also need jobs for all the new members of our state's workforce. We call this the jobs gap. Using a simple graph on the whiteboard behind me, we're going to show you what Virginia's current jobs gap looks like. On the x-axis, running horizontally on your screen, we show the years from just before the recession till September 2011. On the y-axis, running vertically on the screen, we show the number of jobs in Virginia in millions. At the start of the recession, Virginia had about 3.8 million jobs. During the recession, Virginia lost jobs at a rate of about 7,000 jobs per month. While some jobs have been added since we hit rock bottom, we are still 128,200 jobs below where we were in 2007, the year the recession began. At the same time that Virginia has lost jobs, our working age population has grown by 4.5%. That means, even if we had not lost any jobs since 2007, we would still have needed to add 171,800 jobs along the way just to keep up with the growing workforce in our state. Add these two numbers together and you get the total number of jobs we need to get back to pre-recession employment levels in Virginia. That's the jobs gap. But at our current rate of job growth, about 2,100 jobs per month, we are not even creating enough jobs to keep up with the growth in our workforce. Unless the pace of job growth increases in Virginia, it could be a generation or more before Virginia returns to pre-recession employment levels. I'm Michael Cassidy from the Commonwealth Institute.